फ्रेंड्स बैक पेन इज वन ऑफ द कॉमनेस्ट रीजन्स फॉर अ डॉक्टर्स विजिट ग्लोबली एवरी वन ऑफ अस विल हैव एटलीस्ट वन अटैक इन द नेक्स्ट वन ईयर फॉर श्योर वन ऑफ द कॉमनेस्ट ले मैंस टर्म फॉर वन ऑफ द कॉजेस फॉर बैक पेन इज वॉट इज कॉल्ड एज अ पिंचड नाव दिस टर्म इज सो पॉपुलर दैट आई डिसाइडेड टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन दिस वॉट इज अ पिंच नाव वाई इट हैपन्स how to diagnose and treat this condition let's see in this video stay till the end friends i will give my super five tips to prevent a nerve from getting pinched in your back welcome this is dr arun naik from doclogs channel helping you to have dialogues with your doctor i am a neurosurgeon and a health blogger if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing to doclogs all additional info tips and tricks told in this video i will leave the details in the description box below if you want you can check those out that said let's have a doclog what is a pinched nerve friends your backbone is a complex structure the central element of this structure is your spine or backbone it consists of 33 individual bones that stack and interlock with one another separated by intervertebral discs this structure is further enhanced by your paraspinal muscles ligaments and tendons through the center of this vertebral column runs a big hole what is called the spinal canal this canal down the middle of your spine houses your precious spinal cord and spinal nerves stemming from your spinal cord nerves branch out between the vertebrae along the length of your spine these spinal nerves are vulnerable at a narrow space called foramen on the side of your spinal bone these nerves can be pinched due to many causes collectively leading to what is called a radiculopathy pain when pinched these nerves send signals pain signals to the brain or even lose functionality resulting in tingling or numbness now what are 10 causes of pinched nerve number 1 slip disc number 2 bulging disc number 3 spinal trauma or injury number 4 spinal stenosis number 5 the very common mechanical back pain number 6 bone spur formation or osteophytes number 7 spondylolisthesis number 8 foraminal stenosis number 9 the common age related degeneration and the last number 10 is spinal arthritis then what are the symptoms of a pinched nerve friends that sharp aching or burning pain which may radiate to upper limb or lower limb from the neck or from the low back second numbness or decreased sensation in the limbs then tingling pins and needle sensations in the limbs muscle weakness in the limbs also can be seen a few of my patients complain of imbalance while walking and difficulty in holding urine or feces in the last stage the problems related to a pinched nerve may be worse when you are sleeping friends when not to neglect your pinched nerve symptoms If you have been experiencing ongoing pain for more than 3 weeks it is advised to seek medical attention if you are experiencing tingling numbness or loss of motor skills especially in fingers it is advised to seek medical attention immediately and get treatment now how to diagnose pinched nerves the diagnosis of a compressed nerve in the spine is important to ensure you get the proper treatment When I see a patient suspected of pinched nerve, I start with the physical and a neurological examination. 
During this exam, I take a thorough medical history. I may also ask for some tests like X-rays, CT scans or MRIs to help determine the cause of pinched nerves. Now what is the treatment for pinched nerve in the back? Friends, the mainstay of treatment of pinched nerve is medications. They get good relief with this. These medications may have to be continued for many months, sometimes lifelong. I also advise a short course of physiotherapy in some patients. I may ask for spinal braces to rest your backbone for a few days. 95% of pinched nerves get relieved with this modality. About 5% of patients have severe pinched nerves causing severe pain. They may need surgical intervention. Now, what are the surgical treatments available for a pinched nerve? A pinched nerve surgery should only be performed by a highly qualified neurosurgeon or a spine surgeon with a vast amount of experience in the area of nerve decompression surgery. Make sure you talk at length with your prospective surgeon to ensure that he or she is fully comfortable with performing your spine surgery. Watch my channel on 10 questions to ask your spine surgeon before embarking your surgery. Never feel afraid to clear your doubts. Pinched nerve surgeries are typically minimally invasive these days making them quicker and easier to recover. Depending on the impingement, your neurosurgeon may advise a microdiscectomy, foraminotomy or a laminectomy surgery and sometimes anterior cervical discectomy with or without fusion or lumbar spine fusion. The advantage of having a surgery is that the problem can be corrected mostly permanently. This is especially important if you lead an active lifestyle that won't allow for intermittent bouts of bed rest when the pinched nerve in your back creeps up every now and then. Obviously, as with any surgery, there are a few risks with spine surgery. Some of these risks may include bleeding, infection of the surgical site or nerve damage. Luckily, with today's advanced techniques and specialized surgical instruments, in the right hands, this is much less a risk than it used to be. Your surgeon will be able to give you a good idea of what your surgical risk factors are and how you can minimize these risks even more. With that friends, we have come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching and hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, give me a big thumbs up. Share this video with your near and dear ones to put them also on the positive side of their health. If you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon to get instant notifications of my new videos. Friends, if you or your dear ones ever had a pinch nerve, let me know in the comment box what treatment you took and how was the recovery. Go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's discuss this further. I will be back with another equally interesting doc log very soon. Till then, feel awesome, live awesome and take good care of your health and yes, your backbone.